so this is the Jenner diode characteristic apparatus so in this experiment we are going to find out the breakdown voltage for reverse as well as forward bias so Zener diode are the semiconductor devices that allow current to flow in both the direction but specialized in current flowing reverse also known as breakdown diode so Zener diode we call that as breakdown diode so first we should know how to use this apparatus so in this experiment uh, we have to study the IV characteristics of Zeno diode in both forward and reverse bias. So the whatever the apparatus we have we are required here itself in this kit is available. Milli ammeter, volt meter, rheostat, power supply, connecting wires and diode or Zeno diode. So here is the diagram for forward bias. So here is the Zener diode which is connected parallel to the voltmeter and the common connection between emitter and it, emitter is connected to resistance then rheostat that is uh, connected to the battery. So here is the diagram for circuit diagram for reverse bias. Here anyhow the Zener diode is connected in parallel to the voltmeter but the direction is going to change so uh, the remaining connection is going to be same so once you plot the graph of voltage versus current current is along y axis and voltage is along x axis so forward bias always in the positive region and uh, Zener diode actually works in the reverse bias this is what the for reverse bias you can see initially the current is going to be minimum with respect to voltage as you increase and there is a some point where we come across the breakdown voltage we call that it starts increasing that is what constant Zener voltage we get after this uh, breakdown voltage this reason we call Zener breakdown reason and here for forward bias reason Initially uh, we get small value of current with respect to voltage and then it is going to increase gradually. This reason we call forward bias reason. This is for forward bias and this axis is for reverse bias. And the symbol of the Zener diode as we know, we should just change the direction of the diode positive and negative terminal. We can use it as forward and reverse bias. Here we have to make the connections as given on this apparatus uh, for forward bias as well as reverse bias. So first you should connect the voltmeter. So this is the DC volt, uh, voltage we have to apply. The range is 0 to 15 volt. As we can see here in this voltmeter reading 0 to 15 volt. So first you should connect uh, the positive terminal of the voltmeter to the positive and negative to the negative terminal then there is a common connection here uh, this positive terminal of the voltmeter must be connected to the resistance one end of the resistance and another negative terminal to the um, A node of the Zener diode ok there are three diodes uh, are mentioned here 5.1 volt 8.2 12 volt so here we have made the connection to the 8.2 volt so from the positive terminal of the voltmeter to the resistance one end and another in forward bias uh, the negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected to the cathode and uh, the positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter and here the anode is connected to the negative terminal of the milliampere so here it is uh, the switch must be towards milliampere in case of forward bias gradually increase the voltage and note down the corresponding current in milliampere so you can see 
so one division is equal to 0.25 it is one volt and here uh, it is uh, in milliameter also below reading 0 to 15 milliampere one division is equal to 0 0.25 two division 0.5 so for one volt of current 0.25 milliampere so here also you can see they got for around 1.2 volt to 5 volt current in the ammeter that is 0.5 gradually increase the voltage and note down the corresponding current so just i will show you i am going to increase the voltage with respect to that you can see in the ammeter current is also going to increase so up to 15 volt you can take the readings around 10 to 12 readings you can take and plot the graph of voltage versus current so you can see the current has been increased with respect to voltage this is for forward bias so next what i will do switch off the device and here bring this voltage to minimum then i will change here uh, the terminals anode and cathode so here anode and cathode so anode is connected uh, this negative terminal of the emitter should be connected to cathode and positive terminal to the anode so anode is connected here so next i will switch this to the 1.5 milliampere that is reverse bias and switch on the device increase the voltage and you should note down the above reading 0 to 1.5 so one division is uh, how much divided by 1.025 so range is small for reverse bias i am going to increase the voltage in zener uh, actually zener diode is uh, specially it works in reverse bias as we increase the voltage there is no deflection in the milliampere for certain value of voltage after that it is going to show the reading so you can see there is no change in the current uh, at around 7 point uh, almost around 7.3 or 7 point more than 7.5 volt there is a change in the current so you can see here around 7.5 to 10 that is how much here 9 around more than 9 uh, and here one division is equal to 0 0.025 four divisions are there so almost around uh, 0 0.01 current then i will show you here here also same 0 0.1 milliampere they got uh, for beginning as you increase the voltage current is going to be zero at some value of voltage you are going to get the current similarly here also we got uh, around 8 or 9 volt and the current is about 0 0.1 milliampere you can also see here so let us increase the voltage and uh, see how the current is going to vary so as you increase above the voltage of 8 volt or 9 volt you can see there is a change in current current is also going to increase so up to here uh, uh, 1.5 milliampere is the maximum value of current so within that range uh, so for more than 10.7 or 10.8 volt we have the current reading of 1.5 milliampere so here also they got uh, around 10.75 volt corresponding current is 1.5 milliampere so like that you have to do the experiment uh, using zener diode so zener diode for forward bias and reverse bias 
नेचर ऑफ ग्राफ फॉर फॉरवर्ड बायास यू शुड टेक दी स्लोप एंड कैलकुलेट दी वैल्यू यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वंस यू टेक दी स्लोप ऑफ करेंट एंड वोल्टेज यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दी स्लोप एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस दी नेचर ऑफ ग्राफ फॉर फॉरवर्ड बायास सो दे हैव कैलकुलेटेड दी स्लोप दैट इज अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड ओम this is the nature of graph for the reverse bias so here also you should calculate the slope that is in terms of resistance the graph for zener diode in reverse bias uh, after calculating the slope they got about 2 k ohm resistance nothing but the slope is about 2 k ohm the calculation for the forward bias slope resistance uh, that is 500 ohm and for reverse bias slope that is uh, resistance is equal to 1 divided by slope that is equal to 2 k ohm at the end write down the result here forward bias resistance of the zener diode is 500 ohm reverse bias resistance of the zener diode is 2 k ohm so this is how you can do the this experiment on zener diode in forward bias and reverse bias